Hello there, everybody. My name is Tom O'Neill. I'm going to talk to you a little about why researchers care about entrepreneurship and startups and, and things like that, activities that involve getting research out of the laboratory into the marketplace. Why is it important? Faculty may or may not want to be, in, be interested in doing such a thing, but how do you get things in the marketplace? How do you get it to use it and actually take advantage of all this research and discovery? A lot of uh, our sponsors nowadays talk about uh, research in terms of return on investment. So it's important for us to really understand what we can do to, to help our society's economy. Uh, many people invest in research because they believe the economic development of research is why they fund this stuff in the first place. All of the discoveries that you use every day in your home are a result of people taking research and making practical products out of it. So what we do at UCF in our intellectual property class is talk about the mechanisms and the things we need to do to do that. Patents and copyrights and incubators and GrowFL is a program we use to kind of take companies all the way through the second stage. So it's really an interesting subject area, especially if you're a scientist or engineer, to understand what it takes to have, develop business and entrepreneurial acumen to take these things and make real products out of it, to go validate customers and, and make sure that what you do solves somebody's real world problem. And you take a real world problem and bring it back to your laboratory and make sure your research is really relevant. It's an exciting uh, area that I believe that really, really is just getting going well. People are understanding more the link between what they do with the doors closed in their laboratory to how it makes someone's happier and more fulfilled every day as a society. It benefits citizens, especially in the life sciences, which is really exploding right days. How do you take all that hard work that you're doing and bring it to market, especially given all the FDA and all the other rules and regulations you've got to contend with? How do you keep your Montreal mindset and bring this stuff to market?